autism is a heterogeneous disorder that involves deficits in social communication, language, and problems with repetitive and restrictive behavior. It is caused by a combination of genes and the environment. And recent advances in genetics, very excitingly, have identified dozens of potential autism candidate genes. One of these genes has been identified by several groups using multiple different methods, including linkage, association, and even rare genetic mutations, is CNTNAP2, or contactin-associated like protein 2. Patients with cortical dysplasia focal epilepsy syndrome have intractable epilepsy, after which begins hyperactivity, loss of language, impulsivity, and 70% of the patients have an autism spectrum disorder. So this is a strong major gene cause with high penetrance for autism. To begin to study the mechanism of how CNTNAP2 might lead to autism, Olga Panagarinkaro, a postdoctoral fellow in the lab, extensively investigated a mouse model of autism from a pathological, developmental, and behavioral standpoint. And she shows striking parallels with patients with cortical dysplasia focal epilepsy syndrome, as well as finding the core deficits that are seen in autism, that is deficits in social behavior, repetitive restrictive behavior, and communication. Human patients with CDFE syndrome show a very specific phenotype, including epileptic seizures, gliosis, migration abnormalities, ectopic neurons, autistic behavior, and hyperactivity. But what about the mouse? We actually found that CNT and AP2 knockout mouse they start showing seizures at around six months of age, and EEG recordings after the onset of seizures detected the presence of abnormal interictal spikes. Also, after the onset of seizures, they showed dense gliosis in the hippocampus, as you can see by the presence of GFAP staining, which is a marker of astrocytes. In addition, neuronal bis dating analysis with BRDU injection at embryonic day 16 and analyzed at postnatal day 7 to study neuronal migration showed that a high number of neurons that were supposed to migrate to the upper cortical layers remained in the deep cortical layers in the mutant mice. And similar to the patients, we also found ectopic neurons in the corpus callosum. As you can see, the CNT and AP2 knockout mouse shows a disorganized brain structure. So to know if this could affect the functioning of the neuronal circuits, we performed in vivo calcium imaging and we investigated neuronal synchrony, which has been increasingly associated to autism. We recorded neuronal activity in wild and mutant animals and found that the neuronal firing pattern in the mutants was highly asynchronous compared to wild-type litter mates. Since the diagnosis of autism is based on behavioral symptoms, we performed a whole battery of behavioral tests in the mice, and we found that they showed deficits in the three core domains for autism. They showed decreased ultrasonic vocalizations as a measurement of vocal communication, they showed increased repetitive behavior, such as grooming, and they also showed deficits in social interactions. In addition to the autism core behaviors, the mice also showed hyperactivity, which was also reported in patients, and sensory abnormalities, which is very common in autistic patients. Based on these results, we think that the CNT and AP2 mouse model is a very good model to study autism. One of the main goals of having a valid animal model is to be able to test and develop new drug treatments that will help the patients. So we treated the CNT and AP2 mouse model with one of the only two drugs approved to date by the FDA for autism treatment, Risperidone. And we found that it decreased the hyperactivity and the repetitive behavior in the mice. As you can see in the videos, the extensive repetitive grooming in the mutant mice is improved with treatment with Risperidone. Interestingly, Risperidone also rescued the nesting deficit that we have detected in the mice. And nesting has been related to the dopaminergic pathway, which suggests that this pathway might be altered in this mouse model. The striking dissociation between the ability to treat the repetitive behavior with Risperidone and the lack of response of the social behavior in the mice parallels with what we see in humans in terms of human response to the pharmacotherapy. This kind of dissociation, we think, is quite interesting and quite important as it potentially tells us that this model might be useful for testing drugs and social behavior.
in these mice. Since our previous knowledge of CNTNAP2 function was focused mostly on postnatal development, these new data open a whole new window on the study of CNTNAP2 in neural development, pointing to their involvement in GABAergic neuron development, neuronal migration, the development of epilepsy, and will hopefully allow us to dissect the core circuits that are involved in these different forms of behavior, especially social behavior in mouse and humans.